Hello guys, in this video we will show you how to list a multivariation uh, item from Aliexpress to your eBay account using Yabale. So let's begin. We copy the URL of the item from Aliexpress and we take it to Yabale, Lister, Auto Lister, paste it here in this field and hit the Get Item button. Uh, and now the monitor would display us uh, all the variations that he, uh, it notices in this listing. You can see here in the variations counter how many exactly there are. We, we do not limit you. You can list in even uh, multi-variation items with hundreds of variations. Uh, and you can also control this number by unchecking uh, like this and checking the variations you want to leave out and not add to your listing. Also, you can prevent listing out of stock variations by checking this box. Out of stock variations are uh, shown to you, uh, are marked in red with this word protected. And you can also see why they are protected. This one is simply not in stock in AliExpress. Uh, so you can control the, the number of your variations uh, in, um, in eBay, like this. Uh, here you have the variation specifics, that is the names of the changing categories, which would be seen in your eBay listing. And here in the more info, you have the source price. The source price is the price of the item in AliExpress plus the cheapest uh, shipping price uh, to United States. The shipping of the options you have um, marked in your settings, filters, shipping options for AliExpress, okay? Uh, now, based on this, uh, on each source price, uh, your eBay price would be cal calculated. We take the source price and we add your uh, uh, the profit uh, and break even you have put in your uh, settings general in Yabale, and we calculate the eBay price, uh, which would be different uh, for each item if the source price is different. Now you can uh, control uh, those uh, profit and break even settings, you can see them here in listing details. And you can uh, change them, uh, you can change uh, the profit and break even that would be applied to all the variations. You can also change the quantity. Uh, but the, the particular uh, profit and break even for each and each variation, you, you would only be able to, uh, to change when the listing is already in the monitor. I will show you how. Now let's continue. Now you make sure that your shipping policy and your return policy are the ones you wanted to choose for AliExpress. Item specifics, pay attention that now they are brought automatically. All the item specifics from the item in AliExpress are brought here automatically. You can also add some more uh, here. Uh, in this area, pay attention not to add uh, item specifics which have the same name as your changing category. For example, we, we have seen that color is a changing category here, up here. So we, one moment, here you see, color is going to be one of the changing categories. So because it's changing, you cannot put it in the general item specifics, okay? Just uh, pay attention to it. You cannot put it here. Uh, now here, photos. You can create a collage of the first four photos like this. Just click the Create Collage button. And here it is. Now you can choose your template here. I will stay with Yabale. Uh, if you want uh, uh, the the, uh, the item uh, the item description the item description from the item in AliExpress, in order to bring it, you need to press the Save Yabale button here. You see the green note listing saved. Now you come back here and you press this Load AliExpress Description button, 
but as you can see uh, this is what has been here before uh, why is that because in this case the aliexpress description has uh, what we call a, a junk uh, uh, junk information uh, it is not clean uh, so what we do in such case we simply repeat the item specifics as text here it is better than nothing and it would give your, your client, your buyer, some kind of a clue uh, about the item. Um, so now, uh, what is left to do? We check that the title is not longer than 80, uh, 80 letters. No, it is not. And we can list it. We click list item and wait a few seconds and our item is going to be up. Then we would go to the monitor page and see how it looks like in the monitor and what we can edit uh, once, once it's up, once it's listed. <coughs> Okay, I see it has listed successfully. And let's see how it looks. Here it is. You see each variation has its own row in the monitor and um, please pay attention that all the eBay IDs of this item are the same. This means it is the same item in eBay. Also the title is the same. You can uh, change, you can edit the title directly from here. For example, I say test, I, I click uh, the V button and you would see it would be updated in all the rows of the same uh, item you see the word test has been edited to all of them because it is actually the same uh, it is one title of the same ebay item of this number now i can also uh, the same way i can uh, edit the ebay quantity i can for example set five here and save it and i can edit the profit and the profit in dollars, which is, by the way, added to the profit, uh, the profit in percent is added to the profit in dollars, uh, or I can edit my break even, whatever. And I can save it, and that's it. I can also, by the way, uh, edit in bulk if I uh, select a few uh, and press here bulk operations. I can set it like this and apply and it would be uh, added shortly. Uh, so that, that's it guys. You are, you are welcome to try this. Good luck.